It is time to get the uh, BTS vlog for uh, November 26th and the 27th started. It's about 11 o'clock in the evening or 23 hours into the day of November 26th. That's our uh, vlog date. Uh, <laughs> it's starting off to be one of those unusual uh, things again. Uh, the, the unusual days again. What happens when you start going into sleep deprivation is that sometimes you're when you're awake and when you're asleep does make a difference. Like there is a difference if you're up nights, anyone who has worked late nights and worked all night long knows that the di there's a difference between sleeping at night and sleeping during the day. And I'm just coming out of sleep deprivation now. But I'm not getting up. I got up today at around 6 o'clock in the evening. 18 hours, into the, uh, 18 hours into the day of November 26th. It is now 23 hours into the, into the day of uh, November 26th. And the thing is, is that uh, I'm actually just beginning my day. I probably won't be finishing until about 5.30 in the morning. I mean, that's what happened yesterday. Uh, or the, earlier, the reason why we're at 18, 18 hours and 23 hours for, for November 26th is that's because I went to bed at 4 hours and 30 minutes into the day of uh, of, of the 26th. So, basically at 4 o'clock in the morning, 4, 4, 3, 4 o'clock between, between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the morning, I went to bed. Uh, then got up at 6 o'clock and now uh, I'm off to starting the rest of the day at 11 o'clock. Well, that means I'm not probably not going to end up getting to bed if I put a 12-hour day in. Uh, I probably The earliest I'll probably get to bed is like 6 o'clock in the morning. So this kind of automatically puts me into a negative position as far as sleep deprivation goes. Coming out of sleep deprivation, I'm going right into uh, being awake at night and sleeping during the days. And that's actually not a good position to be in, but this is kind of the way the work goes here. It's about when the information comes in, when you're awake, how much work can get done during the part, the part, parts of the, the, the time that you are awake. Uh, and even when you go to bed, when you go to sleep, you're not really uh, turning off, you're resolving problems in your sleep and sort of trying to figure out how to uh, get things done. Like, e even as mundane as working on Beauty and the Geek, I was able to resolve uh, some scheduling issues with the production schedule and deal with things on a more effective and efficient b manner in order to get the work done. The next goal now is to start adding more materials and more get, getting more production more production on a week-to-week -week basis done. And so this is the goal is to see, can I get more produced uh, per week than I previously have? And this is sort of going to also be going to be going to get back to our uh, the daily vlog, the daily vlog, rather than uh, a whole bunch of daily vlogs put together for one vlog uh, to produce the the BTS vlogs. In other words, our BTS vlogs will be going back to its standard format of being daily, uh, rather than just simply being uh, uh, once a week or once every two weeks or whatever. You know, this is it's been a while, you know, it's, it, it hasn't been a continuous vlog day after day. It's been several days put together. And this is simply because, well, there's not much to film when you're when you're asleep. You know, there, that's what I'm saying. You, know, you, you can't... <coughs> you can't fill the schedule with sleeping. So, but that was sort of the result there. And uh, But now anyways, we're going to start trying to get back to normal. This is going to be see if we're going to do our second day of 12 hours. Yesterday we did about a 12-hour day. 
we went from uh, about 4.30 to 4.30. And now we're going to do, uh, let's see, we do 6 o'clock to 6 a.m. That's our estimate. We'll see how things go. There's still a fair amount to get done. The goal for this week is I still want to f finish up some of the work I need to get done on the kitchen diner. And then go from there on out. And I also want to get back to doing the Insta vlogs. Uh, there should be one. I should be actually getting it done today. Uh, the uh, next episode of uh, Beauty and the Geek is in the editing bay. That should be getting out there. And I said I resolved the scheduling problem with Beauty and the Geek. And things seem to be improving in that production schedule. And if that works out well, then this uh, re resolution that I came up with basically just taking some vacant time that I had where I was sitting and doing nothing and rearranging my system so that I can get work done while I'm just sort of sitting here. And it's not too taxing, so it's not knocking me out. But it's a sufficient amount of work that it pushes the schedule forward. And so that's kind of what I've done. And if that works out, then I found a way to uh, work a lot of the uh, video production into the regular study schedule uh, in a manner that it doesn't interfere interfere with the study with the, with the studying and the research and allows me to do video production at a faster rate than I've been doing it before <coughs> uh, <coughs> so I'll leave it here for now <coughs> I'm gonna leave it here for now I will come back in a couple hours and talk to you and let you know what's going on, uh, what, what's, what the day has sort of been like. And I'll probably get into doing the, uh, a bit of a YouTube stroll today. Okay. Oh, alrighty. See you in a bit. Well, if I'm supposed to be vlogging on a daily basis, that didn't occur, yes, that didn't occur yesterday. <laughs> I ended up missing yesterday. I was up, but... Uh, it was a struggle to get through the day. And my, I was going to vlog at the end of the day, but it didn't kind of work out. Uh, what I'm sort of working on doing now is uh, trying to get back into my segment production. And I've been doing more of this with the with the uh, with uh, Beauty and the Geek. Uh, I'm learning more and more how to produce things in segments rather than producing an entire video all at once. And that actually improves things because that means you can do the video over a variety of different times and periods. And as that occurs, you can uh, then turn around and do the segment production in periods and times when you really don't have anything to do around here when, 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 when there's a low. And that means you can space your time up. But in other words, you can use your, your your the segment production to improve how you schedule things in, how you efficiently you get things done. And so that's what's sort of going on here now. And uh, I was that I decided there was sort of hemming and hawing yesterday whether or not I should should uh, extend uh, this particular BTS vlog from one day to to a multiple day vlog. And that's what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be a multiple day vlog because I'm gonna end it. Later on tonight, after I come back from my parents, I'll do another segment, the last segment uh, tonight. And then, what I'll do is I'll start the next BTS vlog uh, sometime in the early mornings uh, of, uh, of uh, what you call it, uh, of uh, November 29th. It's the 28th today. And that way, we'll be able to get everything done in a, in a, in a more organized fashion. Uh, I was been working also yesterday on some improvements to my IP IPTV, what I have here uh, above me, and also working on uh, a YouTube stroll, doing some more of that YouTube stroll, trying to sort of fix things up, making bit, make bit, making it a bit better, uh, and including uh, the community stroll for the Beauty and the Geek as well. In other words, I had to add a variety of different things in there in order to uh, get all the work done I needed to get done for everything. And again, it's, it's, it's this whole scheduling issue. But bit by bit, we will get through everything. And um, what I'm going to do is I'll call back in about uh, two, or, two, three hours. And I'll do the ending segment for today, I think. That's sort of applied anyways. And uh, we'll talk to you then. All right. It's Thanksgiving. And 
um, at my de research desk, as I always am. This was, as I said last time, as last segment, that this was supposed to be the last, well, I was thinking that this is going to be the last segment. And the decision was, this is not going to be the last segment, but rather, uh, I'll do the last segment tomorrow morning, uh, when I get up. Because I'm not done yet. It's around 11.30, it's 23 hours and 30 minutes into the uh, day of uh, November 28th, that's Thanksgiving. And of course, there's only 24 hours a day, so there's about a half hour left before we switch over and it's the 29th. And I'll be up until basically about 5, 6 o'clock, so... <coughs> uh, that's, that kind of presents a problem. When you're working from... Uh, 6 p.m. one day and ending 6 a.m. the next day. It's hard to do the the vlogs like this because you're straddling two days. You're not. You're not. Your day isn't one calendar day. It covers two calendar days, uh, even though you're still within 12 hours. But it's kind of hard to sort of uh, gauge that if you're doing a daily vlog and you're in between these different days. That's where it becomes difficult, and of course, uh, your editing gets off a of schedule, and <laughs> uh, the uh, things become more and more difficult, and you start falling behind. But, uh, I am working on how to uh, properly produce these segments. <coughs> uh, basically... <coughs> When I'm filming here at the research desk, this is one of the studios I have here. I'm setting up another studio in back that you'll see. And during the for Insta vlogs and Beauty and the Geek, that's where I'm at. this is my second sort of studio that I set up. I'm working on a third and fourth that you will eventually see, probably within a week to two weeks. Uh, but uh, at this desk, at this studio, I've got eight minutes to put it put in what I need to put in in terms of the, the filming segment uh, so either I have to do things one segment try to squeeze everything in or do two segments that are not quite eight minutes in length or however many minutes that are required so there are ways of working around things there are ways of getting things done and uh, bit by bit I will work out these particular issues and make sure that when I uh, produce these shows uh, they are somewhat interesting, particularly BTRL. This is, right now we're talking about BTRL, and we're talking about the, the uh, BTS vlogs of the the BT, yeah the BTS vlogs part of the BTRL. Uh, no, it's BB, BBTRL. Yeah, Big Bang Theory. Uh, real life. <coughs> yeah. uh, <coughs> I was fine earlier, but now it's starting to... Uh, Kick in again as my fatigue levels start to hit, hit. and my cough is coming back again as uh, the fatigue levels start to uh, work, work its way through the body. Ironically, uh, even though I'm still, even though I'm getting better, but I'm still not as better, good as I should be, I still have to go food shopping tomorrow, so that's going to be uh, on the schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'll probably start off the day tomorrow is with the food shopping. Uh, and then we'll go from there, and uh, we'll see what's going to happen because because tomorrow's Friday. That means we're going into the weekend vlog, which is which is the multiple day vlog over the entire weekend. Uh, so it'll be interesting interesting to sort of see how I get these things put together. I still have some more uploading loading to do, and there's still some stuff in the editing bay. Uh, Bit by bit, I will work on these different channel design issues. This is the whole thing that's going on now. Before, it was simply just working on single sh shows. Now, it's an issue of uh, designing the channel. So, what I'll do is I'm going to come back in a few minutes and do a uh, YouTube stroll. I'm going to split this segment into two segments. And that way, I will have enough time on the clock. I'm going to do the uh, YouTube part of the stroll. And as you, uh, the YouTube, <laughs> you, the YouTube stroll, as you may know, if you've been watching me on uh, Cyborg Alpha TV on YouTube, 
you'll know that I do the stroll around YouTube and take a look at different uh, videos from different people that I've subscribed to. Excuse me. And uh, this goes on throughout the day, and I mark the ones that I find more interesting. Uh, in addition to marking all the ones that go by, I mark the ones that are more interesting. And the one I came across just a, a little while ago, and this sort of gives me a bit of a note for it. Uh, it was uh, Miss Mrs. Five Thousand Watts. That's her channel. I don't can't remember the name. I didn't write it down. I was supposed to write it down, but I didn't write it down. So <laughs> um, she's now in England, and um, she's not from England, but she is now in England. She did the part of her video is the uh, the uh, random facts about me. I don't know how many random facts she actually put in there. Uh, uh, I can't remember at this point in time. So I'll do the, the random facts about me, five random facts that I uh, sort of put into the uh, uh, the uh, comments down below on her channel. And then from there, I ended up going to buy uh, Lifeberry. And that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you, uh, when you buy one person's video, at the end of the video you'll see, or on the side there, you'll see people's videos that you want to go see that you haven't seen in a while. So I'm going to buy Lifeberry, Lifeberry and... Uh, that's a pretty interesting channel, too. Uh, anyways, 50, 50 random facts about me. It's almost been... I can't believe it's almost been two years now uh, that I've been on YouTube. So that's an interesting fact. And the fact... And the thing is, basically, every few months, I change. And the thing is, it doesn't seem like it's two months ago. Because, although I'm here at the research desk... Uh, excuse me, two years ago. It... it even though I'm here at the research desk, it wasn't two years ago that I started here at the research desk. Actually, I started my research, where I was doing my research was back in the room where I started. If you take a look at the first video, you'll see I'm in either the back room on the couch or in the front library. And that's where this thing's kind of started, and they started off with webcam. So this, uh, this research desk, two years ago, didn't exist. So that's, a, that's kind of a cool thing. I'm very happy with that. That it is now working, it's now functional, and there's a lot more I can do with it this year. This year was a major upgrade uh, to the research desk, so it is working out well. I cleaned up enough spot that I've got another system over here right now, going in for the electronics bench. I still have work to do back here in terms of cleaning, but you know, two years, it doesn't seem like two years, it seems like it's a little longer. And when you look at what I've accomplished, or what I've accomplished, that so what makes me, uh, you know, hey, that's a good, 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 go, uh, good going type of thing. Uh, what else? Uh, I'm living my life more online. More online. I've got more access to online now. I've got my mobile, uh, my mo mobile uh, office and my mobile self. This is Cyborg Alpha Mew, and there's two uh, androids here. There's a third one in here, and the three androids together as we move out to. A remote location. Let's say I'm going to my parents' house or going over a friend's house. Uh, I'll have everything with me as long as I have access to Wi-Fi. I have access to the internet, so I'm going to be around more often, and I can do more vlogging while I'm out. The whole hard part about vlogging when you're out is that you don't know whether the people you're with want to be vlogged or not, and it's a very complex thing to sort of say, okay, well, I'm going to vlog when you don't know if the person around you wants to vlog or not. And that's sort of what I'm figuring out about, about, about doing the vlogging, about doing the uh, BTS vlog, is whether or not people want to be in the vlog or not in the vlog. And that's kind of going to sort of have to be one of the things they work on. Uh, what other random fact about me? I cook. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was watching this program called Extreme Cheapskates. And they were showing people going out to eat. They were showing people... Uh, how they uh, really sort of uh, cut their budget and the stuff they eat. And it's horrible. It's, it's horrible. You know, it, it, and this is what I kind of, you know, I guess this is where I like being Greek. I like being Syrian. Uh, and the thing is, the Greek part of me is an Asiatic Greek. It's not an European Greek, which means we have a ton of food. We're connected to the, Asi to the Asian food culture. And if anyone looks at the Asian food culture, they're talking about uh, 
China, Japan, India, uh, much of the Middle East, and into Greece. Greece is sort of the uh, western tip of Asia, if you will. That's your westernmost point of Asia. And at that point there, up, up into the Caucasus, up into uh, the Slavic part of, of Greece, that's where you start getting into the Caucasians, and that's where you start becoming European. Uh, but the amount of food that's there is absolutely enormous. And, and the thing is, if you've got grandmothers around and, and aunts around, like I have a lot of aunts and I have a lot of grandmothers who were basically from the old country, and they all cook everything. They cook, they don't buy, you don't go into a store and you buy stuff. You cook everything. You make it yourself. So I learned how to do that. And as I started looking at learning how to cook, I started learning how to make stuff for myself. My food costs went down. And so what happened, even though I'm living in many ways like a cheap escape, an extreme cheap escape, uh, where I'm doing my upscaling and stuff like that, it, it's it, it's a lot better lifestyle than if it was if I wasn't, or, or if I was if I, if I was a regular cheap escape. In other words, yeah, I'm living as a cheap escape, but the Greek Syrian part of me. My Eastern cu culture, my Eastern heritage, allows me to live uh, as this. I'm very, living a very high lifestyle. In other words, I eat very, very well. All my meals are home cooked. There is nothing that is not home cooked, and the quality of food is just this unbelievable. I mean, like, uh, I guess that my chicken sandwiches are not processed chicken sandwiches. They're not, they're, 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 they're not, uh, I go get a, get a cold cut that's a processed chicken cold cut. It's not processed at all. The, I make the roast chicken in the oven. I pull the meat apart so that you have it for sandwiches. And the meat goes in whole in the sandwich. And you, can, you can see that it's a shredded chicken sandwich. So it's a cool thing. Anyways, that's the five random facts about me. The time is almost up. And that's sort of uh, the random fact about me for uh, 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 Miss 5000 Watts' video. All right. Democratic Earth. Earth.